What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we're back with some more LEGO City Undercover. That's right, we got Apollo Island Free Roam today, and it looks like we got a couple of collectibles, including some red brickage, a couple of character tokens, and maybe a vehicle token or six, and it looks like 23 gold bricks. Now, we're going to show you the quickest way to get to Apollo Island from Cherry Tree Hills, where we spawn right here at the old police station. And uh, But hey, before we get moving, let's go ahead and pay some quick attention to our red bricks that we've accumulated so far. It's going to really come in handy if you have both the unlimited dynamite and the super color gun red brick on, as we're going to need both of those. And, you know, normally you'd have to scatter and look for those, but hopefully you've got those red bricks and turned on. And if you do, let's go ahead and head over to the metro station, where we're going to actually travel out to King's Court, and then jump off the train and head over to the ferry, which is going to take us out to Apollo Island. Now, we're going to take a quick look at our collectibles, and you might actually notice that we have a couple of those items already. And that's because we had to complete a super brick build for the story. And when we were in the story mode out on the island, we accidentally took out the disguise booth. So we earned a couple of character tokens and a couple of gold bricks while doing that. And we're going to show you where the disguise booth is. And of course, we're going to point out where the space shuttle is. You really can't miss it as it's a giant space shuttle. So, all right, here we are. We've made it all the way over to the metro station of Cherry Tree Hills. And we're going to go ahead and punch our ticket to fast travel out to King's Court. And it's going to give us a whole bunch of options to get out here. Now, this is actually only going to work for you if you've been to King's Court and unlocked the metro or train station out here. Now, if you're following along with our videos, we did King's Court a couple, two, three videos ago, and you should have no problem. Now, uh, once we get out here, we're actually going to jump right out, and it's kind of a funny angle of how the camera portrays us here but we're going to go straight down over towards the water side and there you see there's a little uh, glass tunnel that takes us out to the old ferry so we're going to hop on and again punch our ticket to ride out to apollo island now as soon as we get there it's actually going to take us directly to the disguise booth it turns out the disguise booth is right there in front so we're going to get one of those kind of uh mishap collectibles out of the way right off the bat so our numbers match up on screen with everything else so Oh, to the yeah. Choo choo. That's right. That's my tugboat sound effect. It's kind of like a train, but worse. And uh, you can see we got a time trial right there, too. We're going to come back to that in a hot second. We wanted to go ahead and check out this disguise booth. Go ahead and bust open the blue box, rebuild it, and you will get the character token for Brantford Cubbery, as well as the first gold brick for this area. Now, uh, keep in mind, we already have another gold brick, and we're not going to pay attention to that at all. Uh, just keep in mind, you do need to build the space shuttle. And if you haven't completed the story mode, go back and do that right now. You can come back and do all this other stuff later. But uh, meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and head out to the docks here and hop on this weird kind of like, uh, I don't know, it's like a hovercraft of some sort. Kind of reminds me of the old bayou. And to be honest with you, it's a little slow at first, but it gets going pretty good. And we actually go through quite a few swampy type areas here. And it is kind of uh, awesome that they gave us this and this area because it, it definitely feels right at home. And all right, we're going to follow it around, and it's not too hard. Uh, I don't really like the way the arrows point. They, they point in the direction you're supposed to be going, but sometimes they're kind of hard to make out. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and keep on keeping on. It does give us a little bit of a preview down on the compass, too. If you're having a hard time figuring out where the next little halo arrow spawns, uh, go ahead and take a peek down below. However, you don't have much time to react, so it's, it's going to be a little bit of luck and certainly uh, maybe a lot a bit of repeating in my case i actually had to repeat it twice uh i'm not really sure why what happened i, I think i just took a wrong turn should have gone right or a hard right instead of right and i just went right so anyways uh the, the finish is pretty cool here we go busting up onto the shores here and right into this little building here woohoo look at that we're gonna collect a whole bunch of studage as well as some bricks that'll be added to our super brick builds stuffs and uh, look at that we also get that character oh excuse me vehicle token for the atlas Whoopsie, I'm already uh, fumbling my words. But uh, all right, so this next one is character token two. We're going to get the garbage man. And there are four of these dump truck beds that we need to paint scattered throughout. Now, rather than just get those, you know, one here, one there, and have quick links scattered, we're actually going to go get all four of those right now. So we knocked the one out right here inside the little bay area. Uh, I guess it's the docks is what it really is. And we're going to hop over the fence or use the switch there to go ahead and open 
open the door, and we're going to hop into this little rover. It's like a moon rover of some sorts. I think it's called the Cocoon. I, I, I'd have to... I wasn't paying attention, I gotta be honest. But we're gonna go right up the middle, right here to the space shuttle, and that's where the super brick build for the space shuttle is gonna be, assuming that you, uh, well, you already know that, but if you don't already have the story completed, that's where that's gonna happen, and you'll also get the character token for the spaceman. But make sure you take and paint that second dump truck bed there, and we're gonna go right in between the two buildings, kind of on the north side of the map here, or the area, I should say. It's not really the map, it's the area. Oh, I guess it's the east side. My bad. I, looking at the compass, it was totally the north side. But I guess that spins around. I should have changed that in the settings. But we'll go ahead and paint that bad boy. It's tucked in between those. And we're going to hang our right around the back side of the building and take a little bit of a jump here off this weird little barricade. And it's going to drop us right next to a couple of other land moon cruisers. Moon. That's right. There. I guess they could be land cruisers too. But uh, And right next to the building over here, we're going to find the fourth one. Now, you're going to want to collect the character token itself too for the garbage man. And that happens to be right around the corner so don't worry we got you covered but if you got those out of the order that we just got them just know it's over uh on the shoreline way down on the south side right there so O to the yeah, collect the garbage man and add him to our overall collection. Next up, we're going to switch on over to our construction edition uh, version of Chase McCain. And look at that. We've got a couple of buildings here. One of them happens to have a fuse panel. So pull out that trusty hammer and bust open the panel. And that's right. Give it a few whacks because that always does the trick. We all know that. And look at that. Inside, we've got ourselves a coffee break. So... Uh, you know, you've been working hard so far. We'll go ahead and take a quick little break here, a little sip of some Joe, and, uh, oh, I'm not sure that was safe putting it in his pocket. I don't think I've ever realized that he takes a hot cup of Joe and slaps it right in his pocket. I wouldn't recommend that. Next up, we're going to pick up one of these moon cruisers. Let's see what, oh, it is the co Cocoon. I think that's how you say it, co Cocoon. Anyhow, we're going to go down to the end of the runway here, and we're going to take on Super Brick Build 1. Now, I didn't count the old space shuttle because we got that earlier, and it's not in this video, and I didn't want to confuse you guys. But this one is a stunt ramp, and it's actually quite important to get out to that island out there. However, it's kind of hard to get from that island back to the mainland without wasting a bunch of time. So we're going to save this super jump for another time. But we're going to go ahead and collect the old character token for the chat show host. And you can see I'm taking a peek, and I'm, like, showing you that there's really not an easy way back up, at least that I was aware of. There may be a ladder or something hidden that I totally missed, but uh, to prevent long-term, uh, or uh, any edits for that matter, uh, I just went ahead and saved that for last. We actually blast out onto that island and get the last two collectibles out there when it's time. So, hey, come back down towards the middle of the runway, and you're going to find another super brick build. This one is the old loop-de-loop. -loop. And this one not only gives us a gold brick, but it actually gives us access to the next token. It's actually a vehicle token up at the top of the old loop de loop. And we'll go ahead and collect our studage because it's going to make it rain some studs, I think. Where's our studs at, man? We got totally hosed on that one. You always get studs with the Super Brick build, and I did not see a one. But, uh, all right, hop in one of the moon cruisers, or I guess if you got another vehicle handy, go ahead and use that. And it doesn't take much speed at all. It just requires you to go ahead and drive up and around. And look at that at the very top. We went ahead and collect the, the wash wagon. What the what? But, uh, all right. Check out. There's some shaky tiles on the ground here. We're going to come right back to those. We're going to swoop around the backside. You probably noticed on the old map or compass, whichever, there is a weird trophy-like shape. It turns out this happens to be one of the Rex graffiti sculptures. And, yeah, that's right, sculpture. See how it's kind of a little play on words there, skull? It's supposed to be all scary, but I, I didn't find it very intimidating myself. Go ahead and give it the old cha-cha-cha-cha, knock it down. And that's actually the first one we found scattered throughout Free Roam. So we'll have a video most likely specifically for those five statues scattered throughout Free Roam. But uh, if you follow along in our Free Roam videos, you'll find them as we go along. And you probably won't need that extra video. So go ahead and head back to these shaky tiles and pull out the old d -d 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 drill and we'll ride the whole water spout, the old bidet. I don't know if I trust that either, but uh, we'll ride that up to the top of the roof. And we're actually going to make a couple of trips on this rooftop. One is going to be to get up top here and go back to the chicken wing ring in the far corner. Now, you might have noticed there's actually a box right there. You can smash that box and build it up into a satellite. But that happens to be for the DJ token. And we're going to come back to 
that one in a little bit because we're going to try to get all those in order, but it kind of gets broken up. You'll see when we get there. But activate the old chicken wing ring and then get your book on all the way out to the roofs over here. And, you know, if you got a little bit of a, a lagging chicken, make sure you drop onto the first roof. But if you got a little extra boost like I did, go ahead and ride it all the way out there and pick up Gemma Jones. We'll add her to our collection. Now we got to get right back up onto that old roof. That's right. We're going to make our way back down and around all the way over to the, the water spout and get back up there. Now, it turns out I'm pretty sure we can uh, double jump right here and get up off the top of that red ladder. But just in case you already busted it up, we'll just go ahead and take you right on back to the water. All right. Once we get up top here, there is, uh, again, there's that box we can bust and get the satellite. But we're going to skip that. There's actually a jetpack point off to the left-hand side of the building here. And it goes right over the top of our loop-de-loop. -loop. So don't worry if you've already built it. It looks like there's going to be conflict here. But as it turns out, we go right on over the top. We get a nice view. And check this out. We're going to go all the way out to this zip line. And you got to land on it, which is, the game's pretty good about connecting you to zip lines and, you know, base plates and things that help you with balance up high anyways and uh we're gonna actually uh, have no problem it guides us right on over to it once you get to the end let go of the boost slide on down and get john len regnix that's kind of a weird name but before you jump down you're gonna want to get your tight pants tight walking on all the way over to the end here and look at that another chicken wing ring and we can see a little piglet out there on the next set of i guess that's some sort of pipes of some sort but uh we'll go ahead and pull out our trusty old chicken and he'll fly us right on out of there and what do you suppose that's in those rings that makes that chicken do that do you think do you think it's helpful you think it's like hot sauce or something like i mean that wouldn't be that'd be harmful i would think oh poor little piggy legs God. oh my goodness and uh, those pig feet are probably uh, needing a little massaging a little bit of a pedicure Anyhow, uh, we're going to go ahead and ride this old piggy right on over to where the green arrow is bouncing. And it happens to be a cannon where we can launch this back, uh, well, the pig back over to the farm. And, of course, it's almost time for another episode of Pigs in Space. Let's see if we can track this one. Nope, as soon as the explosion goes, you, um, you lose sight of him. He's gone. But uh, we will take credit for returning him. We're going to go ahead and check off one more of those. And, of course, get the gold brick. You know how much we love gold. In fact, we love it so much, we're going to wander right over to another super brick build and collect some more gold as well as a vehicle token for the Wanderer. And this one's pretty simple. It's just a vehicle calling point. So that's why I was saying earlier, you know, if you uh, don't have the Land Rover or the Moon Rover, it's possible you could have spawned another vehicle. I do believe there is a red brick for instant spawning vehicles or something like that. Doug was telling me something about it, but I, I wasn't quite paying attention. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, we're going to make our way all the way back over to that d -d -d drill spot where we ride the water up on top of the roof because guess what's next? We're actually going to go after those satellite pieces. But uh, hey, quick fool, quick fool little tip here <laughs> quickful that's another new word that i've created uh accidentally this time normally they're intentional this one was accidental uh you know there's quick links down below in the video description those are there to help you get from collectible to collectible you may already have the character token for the radio dj and you may not need to know where all three of these pieces are and that's why we've got those quick links down there maybe you just need that red brick location or perhaps the gang's arrested whatever the case may be use those links to get through this video quickly and efficiently but uh, hey look at that we finally busted open the box and we rebuilt the first satellite now I have to be honest I did a little edit here because I walked up to the jetpack point I activated it and I tried to ride the jetpack wave as far as I could but then go a different route but hey the game actually helps you out in this particular case and it respawned me back up there when I failed making it all the way to the zipline point so that's a little handy uh, little uh, I guess a little tool that it gives you to go ahead and help you I guess hit that zipline but uh, it was not helpful in trying to get over to this point way over here. So I just edited that out. Uh, I didn't think you wanted to watch me redo all of the climbing back up and all that. Anyway, uh, so here we are. We're all the way over on the top of, I guess this is like the main center. I don't know if it's the visitor center. I can't remember what it's called. But we're going to go ahead and use our jetpack to just literally bypass a bunch of stuff. We've already bypassed the cat being rescued and a silver statue to destroy. But we did this because we wanted to try and get this, uh, all of these character token pieces 
for the radio DJ all in one swoop. However, we ran into a little issue where we were going to have to come up onto this roof like you're watching right now, not two times, but three times in order to keep them all in one little section. So what we did was we kind of cheated, and you'll see here in a second. After we get the second satellite built, we actually use a catapult to get out to where the gang's arrested point is, and we take on that first because... It's just make it just made more sense, and you'll see why we're doing it here in a second. But first, we'll go ahead and get to the top of the roof here of I believe it's the visitor center, and right there you can see there is the second of three of those bad boys. Now feel free if you want to go ahead and do some of the items up here. There's a alien to capture. Uh, there's a d -d drill through. There's uh, what else is there? There's another super brick build. But we're gonna use this catapult or boinger as I like to call it, and launch out onto the roof of this weird kind of round object on your map, and you can see at the very top there's actually a scan point for the gang arrested task so we're gonna go ahead and get our scan on with our undercover edition chase mccain and it doesn't take us long to find the baddies plotting their plans wow. and it turns it out sure they're just actually to gonna go just to the back side of the main building that we're scanning yeah. and we're gonna because go ahead and take them like out the with our state. sweet right. karate moves well Seen as we're and, on Apollo well, Island I guess we're going to do some cha 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 a little dancing, a little, like uh, little cuffing and I've stuffing. And yeah, some of these go on a long time. And, and if you've noticed that Let's the go. audio for them Let's is a little loud, um, uh, that, that, that was the case before the update. I noticed there was an update for the game, since the launch of it anyways, and, and it seemed that they uh, toned down the volume of that. But I'm pretty sure that was because that audio was originally intended to come through the Wii U gamepad. Now, I could be wrong on that as I've never played the Wii U edition, but that's, it makes sense, right? I mean, totally makes sense. Got to boost up that volume for those uh, you know smaller speakers. But all right, you, uh, hey, one thing I forgot to tell you, once you actually get that successful scan, of course, you have to make it to that purple halo in the allotted time, which this time they give us a little bit of extra, because that last one, I, what was it, Paradise Sands? That one was a little tough. That was pretty close. And uh, we got it, though. We got it. And uh, once you get there to the Halo, you're going to get rushed by five guys. And look at that. See, I told you. A little karate, a little cuffing and stuff, a little dance moves, too. You see, we did a little twirly-poo. But uh, all right, last guy goes on a rampage and takes off. Now, I did find that the game wants you to tackle him by running and pressing the icon indicated, not shooting him or trying to fight him or running him over or any of that stuff. I, I've had some issues trying to capture these guys in the past videos, and I've finally figured out why. And so feel free to use those methods and, and uh, simply tackle him rather than shooting him or grappling him. Now, all right, we are back to the Character Token 6 Radio DJ Part 3 of 3. Now, since we had to jump off the roof to come all the way down here to this spot, it just made sense to do that gang arrested mission in between these. So there you can see the final box on top of what is, I believe, called the Research Center or Research Bunker, perhaps. Uh, regardless, we're going to go ahead and bust that bad boy open and collect our token, which actually spawns right behind us conveniently. See, I tell you, I try to do the most efficient routes, and it doesn't always work out this way, but look at that. We're right where we want to be. We're where we want to be. Now, look at that. It actually spawned right next to a vehicle token that just happens to be randomly sitting there. So... Hey, randomness appreciated, but we'll go ahead and take on that radio DJ. And then, of course, next up, we're going to pick up that vehicle token for the slogger. And now, remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that there was a, another time trial. At least I think I did. I told you we were going to come back to time trial one. Maybe I didn't make any mention of it, but turns out there's two time trials on this island, and we actually need to get inside this building and open it in order to activate that because we go right through the building in the time trial. Now, in order to do that, you actually have to build up Super Brick Build number four, which gives us a ton of studs. That's right. It's rain, it's studs. Hallelujah. We didn't get robbed that time. That last one over on the runway, it totally hosed us. But in this particular case, this allows us to go ahead and uh, it gets us inside the research center, but in the process of doing that, it actually drops us right onto a character token. So this is kind of like one of those double whammy type situations where we need to get inside to open something else up. But guess what? We're going to get something else when we open it up, too. So uh, if I'm confusing you at all, just know that once you flip that switch and use the teleporter to beam us inside, we're actually going to get rewarded with the classic alien character token. And now we're officially inside the research center. That's what I'm calling it anyways. So that being said, we have to kind of shoot around and try to find a way to, uh, well, we need some dynamite. Now, if you don't have the unlimited dynamite break, brick, bright, what's a break? <laughs> we'll go ahead and shoot the box on the far right 
And look at that, it reveals some bricks that can be built into a teleporter, which allows us to go inside. And there you can see there's a dynamite machine in here. So go ahead and grab some dynamite and go back right through that teleporter. And now we're going to actually go back down the hallway. And you might have noticed there is a brown barrel and a little bit of a silver brick spot on the wall there. And it's not really that noticeable. As you can see, I'm spinning circles going, which way did it go? Which way did it go? Because I know it was there, but I just didn't see it. But there it is. Go ahead and slam that dynamite right on in there and stand back and watch it go kablooey. And guess what? We get to go right on throughy now. So it is kind of a weird deal where instead of just allowing us to walk through, it teleports us in there. That's kind of weird. But at the very end, we find ourselves a fuse box. We'll go ahead and pull out our hammer again with our construction edition of Chase McCain. And look at that. We've officially uh, activated the pad in the middle here. Now, don't worry. It's not some crazy puzzle that's going to blow your mind. It simply lights up a pad and you got to step on it. When that happens, you step on the next one, and the next one, and the next one. And I don't think you can mess that up. As you can see, I'm pretty sure I stepped on that corner piece there on accident. And you just simply uh, follow the trail all the way until it lights them all up green. And look at that. Booyaka shao. And there we go. The time trial has officially spawned. And look at that. It took out that weird red portable ladder. I'm not sure why that spawned there. I don't remember that even being there when we originally came to the island. But... That being said, hey, let's double back all the way over and knock that out right now. Let's get that out of the way. So I tried to try to find a way to teleport over there, but it did not work out. So we're going to go ahead and hoof it on over there. And that being said, it is not a bad time for you to go ahead and use a quick link to get to time trial number two. If you've already completed this guy, of course, there's plenty of other quick links for you to choose from. I thought about calling in a vehicle and driving, but, you know, I figured just being on foot would probably be faster, and I might even find another vehicle down below. And look at that, I did! So I'm going to go ahead and hop in the old cocoon. C cocoon? I, I don't know how to say that. I, I want to say it's like cocoon, but isn't cocoon spelled there? Isn't it like C-A-C-O-O-N? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe my spelling's off. I'll, we'll call it cocoon. Either way, I sound like a nanoob. So, uh, hey, look at that. We've got, uh, oh yeah, and by the way, you don't want to leave this in the way. It'll be totally blocking your path in the race. And look at that, we're officially here. We'll go ahead and activate Time Trial 2, which look at that, we unlocked the cocoon and a gold brick as well for completing this. So this guy is a little bit touchy. He seems to steer a little bit funkily, but uh, after a time or two or a little bit of driving, you should get the hang of it. Now, I actually did have to do this race a time or two as well, and it's because of, well, I got stuck in the research center here. I came around the corner real hot, and I hit the front wall there, and then I had to back up, and then I came sideways in, and I got stuck on the wall. And so, yeah, whorp, 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 whorp. I had to do that one all over again. Now, see, there's one of those rights that looks like a right, but it's actually a hard right. And if you miss the hard right, you probably are going to miss the next point. And there's another one. It's a hard left right back down under the space shuttle. And up and around we go. And I think I get, yeah, look at me playing pinball here, bouncing off walls. Uh, eventually, we make it all the way back down. To, oh, we get to do the big jump onto the runway again. That's right. This one's kind of fun here. Ready? Hold on. Woohoo! Here we go. My car insurance is going to skyrocket, he says. Now, I'm really surprised it did not take us through the loop to loop. However, that would have made it have two requirements for this to spawn. So I guess that makes sense on why they didn't. And look at that. We are coming around the corner when we come. Coming around the corner when we come. Now, this one is a little tricky, too, as you can hop off and fall into the water, and that's not good. And luckily, they put the finish line right there at the gates because I got stuck on the gate, and I'm not sure I would have made it otherwise. But, uh, woohoo! We got the character or vehicle token. My bad. And we got a gold brick. And look, now I got robbed. There's no vehicle in there. I left my uh, yellow guy or golden guy in there, and now he's gone. But. All right, next up, we're going to head right back over to where the research center is, but we're going to go a little bit closer towards the main, I guess, visitor center is what I'm calling it. I don't have it labeled anywhere, but that's kind of what mentally I was thinking it was called. But uh, on the way here, we're going to notice a little carnival section here. We see a bouncy castle, and we also see some hoops. And, of course, we see a super brick build, too. We're going to go ahead and approach this guy, and it should light up on your map once you've found it. We've officially found it, and now we're going to build it. And it only cost us a whopping 50k, but this one's pretty sweet. It's a, it's like a ride, but I don't ride it, though. I, this is one of those ones that, because we didn't have to ride it, I didn't, because I get a little uh, nauseous on these kind of guys. The ones that spin around real fast, I don't do so well on anymore. 
But uh, hey, we get a gold brick and we also get a character token. It was weird how they gave us the gold brick before the character token. Normally they show us the character token in the awards. Anyway, it was kind of weird, but we got them both and we're moving on right behind the super brick build is going to be a barbecue that's out of control. So switch over and put it out with your extinguisher. And look at that. Where, where are we going now? Oh, no. It's actually at the bottom of that spherical-like thing we got the gang's arrested task on. It's a big circle right north of the space shuttle. And look at that. You just need Rex to go ahead and rip it open. And then we're going to slide right on in and pick up Forrest Blackwell, which happens to be character token number nine. Hopefully, I got my numbers right on these. The last two videos, I've accidentally messed up on a gold brick or a character token. And so I need to get better about not, like, actually saying gold brick number 13, as opposed to saying, I, I could just say another gold brick, right? But uh, here we got flowers that need to be watered, so we're going to switch on over to old Farmer Bob here and walk inside right on the underside of the visitor center. And look at that. We have officially uh, made them flowers grow. Hey, and if you have not already, check us out on our social pages. You've been seeing these little pop-ups show up. Uh, you know, we got Instagram, we got uh, Facebook, of course. There's weekly contests. Every week we have a giveaway on our Facebook page. And usually you can find out about that information on our Instagram as well as our Twitter account. So uh, whatever the case is, whichever your favorite social platform is, feel free to follow us there and uh, give us a little shout-out or a request. We love hearing from you guys. Maybe you got some feedback for you. Maybe you think my jokes are awesome. Or maybe you think they're terrible. That, that's all the kind of stuff I want to hear. I I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big boy. I can take it. I can take a little, you know, criticism here and there. So uh, feel free to give me some lines to improve our overall content, right? All right, so we need the jetpack to go ahead and launch up to this next little uh, acrobatic wall here. And we've been up here once before. We came up here to get one of the satellite pieces, which also led us to the gang's arrested mission. But we passed up a couple of items going to those. So we're going to go ahead and come back and do those now, which looks like we got a silver statue to go ahead and destroy. Now, keep in mind, there is some dynamite inside the research center, which is just, uh, well, below us to the left if you're uh, looking at the compass right now. But it's, uh, yeah, anyway, you know where it's at. We showed you already. But hopefully you got that unlimited dynamite brick on, red brick on, because now you're going to be able to not have to go out of your way to find that. And watch out. This this twirly pull here is uh, it's a little deceiving. As you can see, I missed my first go at it. But luckily, I didn't slide down off that sloped edge, as the game often requires you to do. But uh, once we get all the way across to this other ledge, this was actually part of the story as well. We had to go in through the rooftop there. But not us. Not this time. We're going to pull out our water can man and we're gonna make that little sunflower raise the roof and speaking of raising the roof once we get all the way to the top here we see a little kitty cat which again looks just like our cat Emmett we're gonna pull out the old fishy and uh, look at that we've rescued yet another cat and collected yet another gold brick so all right we're gonna make our way back up to the top of this roof which next we're gonna find the unlock the free run token that's right unlock the free run token I guess that doesn't make any sense. We're going to unlock free run by finding the token. How about that? I'll improvise there. And uh, basically, this is just a series of jumps and swings and booms. And eventually, we get all the way to the top of this roof. And hopefully, uh, we're going to get everything in one swoop. And i got to be honest, I already know the answer to this. And spoiler alert, we're actually going to get everything and then drop down chasing that alien. And we actually catch him, too. Imagine that. But, uh, all right, like I said, first we got to unlock free run by picking up the old token, which uh, happens to be right here. And who knows, maybe you already grabbed this on our first attempt up through this area. And look at that, it's going to show us right where it spawns. Which, oh, wait a minute, so we do got to come back up here again. But it's for a different purpose, and it's, it feels a little different. When you're doing the free run, I don't know why it feels different than actually having to repeat the process coming up here. But Because uh, you can't really avoid that one, right? I mean, I couldn't have made that any more efficient. However, we are going to stake our claim here. And uh, look at that. We've got another district conquered, although I feel that there was another building that was a little taller than this guy. We'll go ahead and put our flag here. And what's next? We got ourselves a super brick build. This one happens to yield us another vehicle token for the UFO. 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 I haven't flown any of these guys except for the main chopper that they gave us. So I have no idea if the UFO or any of the other vehicles handle any better or worse than others. But uh, eventually I'll get to that. And look at that. We got the token unlocked. We'll collect our gold brick. And before moving on, or before capturing the alien we got to make sure we get our d -d -d drill out and handle this drill thrill over here so that's right construction version again we're gonna pound our hammer and wait for that switch to come on 
Once it lights up, we're going to go ahead and stand on it, and it's going to show us all of the shaky tile bits that we need to go ahead and do -do 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 drill. So uh, this one, there's really no specific trick or anything. As always with these, I always try to uh, get a mental game plan and try to carve them out in like a methodical order. You know, you got to try to get them all. You don't want to like, you know, get the top and then come over and get the bottom and then jump up. You know, you want to get them all kind of in a, in a nice smooth order. Now, check it out. I actually pull out the old jetpack to get up top here. And I probably wasted a little bit more time than I needed to as there is a set of stairs that gets up there. I just kind of went into panic, even though I knew they were there from just walking up them a few minutes ago. Uh, I'd forgotten about them. So you could use the jetpack. As you can see, I've got plenty of time left. But I'm only halfway. But I this was uh, this was easy peasy. I and some of these, you know, whenever I make a mistake and I have to edit things out, I usually tell you, and I and I wouldn't lie to you. I got this on my first try, even though I pulled the jetpack out, and made things harder than they needed to be. Although I won't lie, right about here, I was like, oh, is my math gonna add up? 35, 36. Uh, yeah, okay. Whew. Whew. All right. Dodged a bullet or dodged a drill it. Drill it? I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I don't make sense. Sometimes I do. Let's just go ahead and move along to the next collectible. All right. All right, it's all right. All right, last but not least up here, we're going to go ahead and switch on over to our spice suit and approach the spice crate because inside we're going to beam down an alien and then we're going to go capture him. So let's go ahead and do that right now, which is going to yield us another gold brick. All right, all right, all right. There he is. This one's pretty easy. Dope. Hopefully you don't get a little... <laughs> nauseous when you're looking down i always i don't know what it is i know it's a video game but when i'm up high and i'm looking down my stomach does not treat it like it's a video game so anyhow we've uh, tackled the old alien we've caught yet another one and we got to go right back up there and do this free run which is actually going to give us another character token for one for oscar steel i'm not sure who he is but he sounds rather awesome and uh, we're also going to get a gold brick. So this one, you know, I went the long way here. I'm not sure why. Oh, yeah, that's because that's where it spawns. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Billy. All right, so free runs up top here. As soon as we get in that swinkle, we're going to press the button and activate it. And it starts off by doing a little zip lining. And, of course, it's we've already done this. You guys are all familiar with the running around. they got the runways on the wall here. we got the turnarounds on the corners. And, of course, a couple of handhelds in between. And I, there's an acrobatic wall or two, as well as a, an agility wall that requires us to spam, 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 or press the button rapidly, for those of you who don't know what spam, spam, spam means. <laughs> All right, so, uh, yeah, we got seven f tokens we need to pick up along the way. I think that might be the most we've had to find thus far, but uh, each one of those tokens gives us a little bit more time, so they are not only uh, helpful in that sense of, uh, they give us the direction of where to go, but they're also uh, helpful in the sense they give us more time. So look at that, we're gonna go ahead and hop on the old boinger, and the finish is right out here at the Gang's Arrested. Now you're probably thinking, well, why don't we just use this and do the Gang's Arrested while we're here? Well, watch this, ha-ha. It takes us back over down below where we started, so we're not even where we started on that free run but we'll take our oscar steel character token and our gold brick and we'll hop in one of these moon rovers and we're, guess what time it is it's time to go ahead and jump off the super jump which is one of the super brick builds we did earlier off the runway so we're gonna head down back over here or we're gonna finally jump and land out on this island over here now i apologize i should have shown you on the map where that jump is i got a little uh, carried away and i get out here and look at this i actually jump on one of these little pressure sensitive switches which starts a timer and i'm like oh i better show them on the map where we are it's back in the southeast corner and when i showed you the map the timer didn't stop and i still barely have enough time to get all of those buttons pressed and it opens up the hatch doors and guess what's down there the red brick for the super ray gun so go ahead and drop down in there and collect it and guess what last but not least we simply have a boulder to destroy which actually happens to be right here on this little island as well so nope that's not it and look at this i actually walk up to this one here and i show you on the map i'm like here it is but nope it's not it i promise you i'm not and, and i did I, I thought it was i genuinely thought the brick was right there and i'm like wait a minute there better be another pile and sure enough there is so go ahead and get your smash on and destroy boulder number two and collect the final gold brick now if you're looking at the gold brick total going why don't we have 23 brian well keep in mind that we also got the uh you know the spaceship as well as the uh 
the disguise booth in a previous video. So you can see our numbers do totally match up, though. We got all 23 of those bad boys. And look at that. We, uh, yeah, a little quick peek at our overall totals. But uh, that's going to wrap it up for LEGO City Undercover Apollo Island Free Roam. Hopefully you guys found this video awesome. Maybe use the quick link or two to help you get through a little quicker. And uh, if you have not already, check us out on our social pages, which can be found right here or down below in the link form, which makes it easier for you. But hey, as for me, that's going to actually do it for now. I got lots of more free room to do. As you know, these videos take a long time to put together, but they're worth it. So uh, stay tuned. As always, until next time, see ya!